Hi everyone, my name is Nate. I am the support engineer at Voltage and in this video I am going to do a demo walkthrough of our new dashboard for our Flow uh, product. Uh, Flow is a easy to use interface that interacts with the Lightning Labs pool auction service so you can request liquidity for your LND node. Uh, a few weeks ago, we released the Flow API, and now we have the Flow dashboard. So no command line, no JSON files, um, and we're gonna get right into it. So let's, let's say for the purposes of this demo, I am just starting a new Lightning node. Let's say I'm a merchant and I need some inbound liquidity, and I have no idea how to do that. So the best way to do it is to go to voltage.cloud and create a, uh, an account. So just go ahead and click get started and then it's going to ask you to register. Email, password, it's all you need. Uh, and I'm just going to pause right there just to say that to use Flow, you do not need a node hosted with Voltage. Any Lightning node that is using LND and has access to Lightning Terminal will be able to uh, use Flow. So if you're running a MyNode or an Umbral, you're good to go. Uh, and, and that's really, really important. We want this product to work for everybody. All right, so after you've registered and made your account, when you log in, this will be your home screen. And there's a few things on here. Nodes, if you want to host a node with Voltage, you would click that. Uh, flow, that's what we're gonna be working with today. And all this stuff is sort of your account management uh, options. So let's go ahead and click flow. After we click flow, we're gonna be taken to this screen here. And this screen is gonna show us uh, here at the bottom, we see some historical orders that we may have placed. If we haven't placed any orders before, then it's going to be blank. And above that, we're gonna see pool market information. This is showing us uh, the, to the current state of the Lightning Labs pool um, sort of auction server. So for example, it's showing us uh, that there are 166 orders toting, totaling 1.4 billion Satoshis of, of um, people trying to sell their liquidity to others to make a yield. And then there's 28 orders called bids of about 300 million sats that are looking to acquire liquidity so these are gonna be matched and uh, in a blind auction way through Lightning Pool. So now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and request a new uh, ticket that we can redeem and get some inbound liquidity. So let's go ahead and click new channel. And pretty simple, how much liquidity do we want in our channel that we're looking to get? So in this uh, example, we're just gonna leave it at 100,000. You can make it as high as you want. You can make it a whole Bitcoin if you want to. Um, this is going to be the amount of inbound liquidity that we're looking to get. Self-channel balance, what this means is that, is there, in the channel that I'm looking to acquire, do I want any Satoshis to be on the local side, my side, when they open? If I do, for example, maybe I want 100,000, I want it to be a balanced channel. When we pay for our pool fee before we get our ticket here momentarily, we'll have to pay that 100,000 up front because that's our money. When the channel opens, we'll get it back in the, in the form of local liquidity. But we're gonna leave that blank in this uh, demo. And then no tier, any and best. What this is saying is, are you willing to receive a channel from any node on the network that's currently selling liquidity? Or do you want only liquidity from nodes that are um, ranked as a quality node from Lightning Labs, the way Lightning Labs does their ranking? Um, generally, you would want to hit best on this because if you're getting inbound liquidity and if someone's trying to pay you, you, want that, you don't want that payment to fail or you want to minimize the chance of that failing. So that's why uh, best should probably be the default. And basis points is um, how many sats am I willing to pay to open up this channel? So a basis point, one basis point equals 0.01%. So 100 basis points equals 1%. Um, we can leave this blank 
or we can um, choose, right? If we leave it blank, we will get uh, an automated, um, basically flow will automate the basis points that um, on, on average historically would be likely to match. So let's go ahead and leave that blank and we'll hit get quote. So this is just giving us sort of a rundown of our order. It's we're gonna get 100,000 sats of inbound liquidity. We're gonna pay a basis uh, point rate of uh, 26, which is 0.26%. We're not gonna have any liquidity on our local side in this channel. The pool fee is gonna be 266 sats. This is a fee that we pay Lightning Labs to use their auction service. And then we are going to have uh, a total fee, which is the pool fee plus the voltage fee. So this all looks good. Let's go ahead and hit create. So this is another rundown of everything here. We've got our basis points, capacity. It just wants us to make sure that this is what we want to do. Um, one thing that's new on this is you're going to see your lease duration, 2016 blocks. And what this means is 2016 blocks are um, going to need minimum to pass through the Bitcoin blockchain before the person or before the peer that's opening the channel with you um, can, can close the channel without incurring some sort of penalty. Um, you as the one purchasing the liquidity, however, can close it at any time. You don't get penalized for that. This is only for those that are selling it. So, um, after the 2016 blocks, your peer can close the channel without penalty, or they can leave it open if they choose. All right, so let's go ahead and hit pay. And this is going to give us either an on-chain or lightning option. And paying this fee is going to uh, then generate us a ticket that we're going to redeem and get our liquidity. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring up my lightning wallet on my phone. And I'm going to scan that invoice. And you can pay this invoice in any in any way you want. All right, so I just paid that nice and easy. And as you can see, it changed to our sidecar ticket, which is in QR form, but we can go ahead and click it. And now we have it. All right, so after that, you're pretty much done with the, the voltage side of things. Next thing you wanna do is bring up Lightning Terminal. On the Lightning Terminal home screen, you are going to want to click register sidecar channel, which is right under your loop history and right next to the loop button. So go ahead and click register sidecar channel and paste what you got uh, just a second ago in this box here, hit next. And then it's gonna say, hey, do you actually wanna redeem this ticket? Now at this point, it's also important to know that anybody can redeem this ticket. You can create a sidecar ticket on flow for a friend of yours or a family member or something that's starting their node and needs some liquidity, you can generate this for them and just send them the ticket and they can redeem it on their node. You could do anything you want with it. But since in this demo, we're doing it for ourselves, we're gonna paste it in there, we're gonna hit confirm. All right, so our ticket is now registered with the pool auction service. And now basically we wait until it gets matched with a peer. That could take a matter of hours, but it will happen. And now that that is done, we can go back to our um, voltage flow dashboard and we can go in and um, see what our status is on that. So um, basically, as soon as we create it, it'll show the status is created. This is where we're at now. I did register a ticket earlier that is shown as submitted. So that means that it's waiting to be matched in pool. And after it's matched in pool, it'll show as filled. And on your lightning node, you will see that you have inbound liquidity that matches what your order was. And that is the flow dashboard in a nutshell. If you have any questions or issues, please don't hesitate to contact Voltage. Um, the Voltage, um, Telegram is especially good, which is t.me slash get voltage. That's where we like to hang out and answer questions for the community, or you can email us at support at voltage.cloud. 
All right, that's it for today, and I hope everyone has a great day and have fun playing with Flow and getting that liquidity.